agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? I flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA DEA JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Atari, soon as we touch down. The Libyans have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pak Atari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sap phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. They're kind of by... Ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and a firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Who will? Hang on, I'll drive. Deploying drone. I'm spotting another tango. And baby makes three. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move.
quédate quieto. Pinche cabrón. Espérate, cabrón, espérate. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I see a second target. I got a third target. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. Our best ally in the 
struggle against the legislation and the state markets are ancient tradition. Look alive, we got company. Yo, cartel gunman, inside the barn. Got another tango. I got a third. I got another, that's five. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Ah, oh, shit, we've been spotted. Open fire. up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Ah, I could use this. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, I'm getting you out of here. I'll pilot. Hola. Punch it, man. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces, Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. This will go nice with my boots. Uh, 
Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop, for 47 hours straight, they broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. The guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Are we searching this location for intel? Hola. Heads up, hostile presence. Oh, no. 
así. Hi, how's it going? Gracias. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. Taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Drone is up. Got another tango. Tango number three. He makes five. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Hey, we got a narco. Where you got him? The dump. Where else? Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got eyes in a weapons case. There's another one. That's ten. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Hey, 
Watch it, Aubrey heard your tango fall. I've got eyes on the captain. This document mentions a newly dead captain who sends prisoners to Yuri and Kalita for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are, but he's sitting in the Nunidad firebase. We've learned that an Unidad captain named Fuentes has been working with Yuri and Polito. Interrogate Fuentes and see what intel he can give us. and a supply bird. Looks fully loaded. Let's take it. The rebels could really use that gear. Back it up. They're gonna see you. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got a target carrying submachine guns. See a second target. Marking a captain. Here's target number five.
rattled somebody's cage. Okay, we're still all right. Asshole heard the shot. He's on alert. That's it, we're clear. Hey, found a Santa Blanca medal. This will make a nice souvenir. We got a 20 in the garage where Pleto parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. Keep the guns down, fellas. We don't want to scare them all off. I'll drive. For a criminal enterprise, it's not such a great thing. This could have been avoided if we had been looking out for each other. You may not have met him, but you all know Ricky Sandoval, the man at the king's right hand, the guy whispering in his ear, the guy handing down justice and shit. You might not know Ricky was acting a little crazy the last couple months. It happens, right? Everybody gets a little high on their own supply. They get short-tempered and crazy strong. But when your homie likes a boy will do much, you gotta stop and get your amigo some help. If somebody had done that for Ricky, sat him down, talked to him, got to know him a little better, you might have figured out that the motherfucker was an undercover DEA agent. I mean, shit! You... Okay, this is the Unidad Firebase. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target alive. Roger that. Deploying drone. I got one Uni Dad soldier. Over there, in the bunker. Sniper up in the tower. I got a third target. Here we go. Got it. Eyes on the Unidad captain.
Here's the schedule for an SB helicopter used to ferry supplies around. The rebels need that stuff. Let's go get it for them. Silencio, what the hell is this? How's it going, fuckstick? Pendejos. You are dead. Mierda. You may as well kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo. Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day there might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Uh. Oye, Polito. I got a lamp ready for delivery. Un borrego. Vale. Sniper, top of the tower. weapons case over here.
Now that a couple are heading back to Itakwa, all we need to do is find out exactly where the hell they're gonna be. We need Ed standing down. We're good to go. Akatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to count on his support in the future. Weapons case here. Ah, I could use this. Hang on, I'll drive.
Heads up. We've got an Unidad convoy on the move. I've got eyes on multiple vehicles, including a commo truck. Let's get after it. The rebels are hurting for decent comms. We could loot the truck and share the love with the Qatari's people. Combo truck secure. Katari's people are on the way to pick up the gear. Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Katari. We'll get it done. Got eyes on the captain. I'm spotting another tango. You're gonna get made. Hang back. Chingo. I got one narco near the ruins. This gives the location of a cartel antenna. They keep turning them on, we'll keep shutting them down. Pakatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. Buckle up, people. I'm in. Let's go.
good to go. Get that they keep. You better start talking, asshole. I don't get paid enough for this shit, cabron. I'll tell you. Cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. Hell. Frag it. Fuck, that was a civilian, dumbass. Sent. The rebels are gonna give Santa Blanca hell after this. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind.
We've got a location on El Polito's personal car. Steal it, so our techs can analyze the car's GPS for intel. Compadre, I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Gulda. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hid him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. Fuck. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Colta now. Sniper up in the tower. That's close. We got a grunt all by his lonesome. The drone is up. Got another tango. Just spotted one with submachine guns. That makes five. Alguien tiene que ponerse a la cocina, pues. Ya se le quita uno el antojo. algún día se acabe todo esto. No tengo idea, hermano. Si me pregunta, creo que esto va a durar años y años. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se siente? Lo veo mal. Ya pasó por acá el ¿Cómo es, señor? ¿Qué le preocupa? ¿Qué trae en mente? A veces no puedo dormir, hermano. A las noches escucho los gritos de los pumas que se fueron. ¿Cuándo se largará este maldito calor, hijo puta? Tranquilo, chambón. No se queje tanto y mejor disfrute. ¿Están aquí? Hold up, they're gonna spot you. ¿Qué quedan? No veo nada. ¿Cómo creen que vaya a acabar esta guerra? No detecto aún nada en la zona. ¿Por qué no se reportó aquí? ¿Qué ocurrió? Yo tengo hambre, pues. ¿Están listos para el trabajo? ¿Están listos para el trabajo de mañana? Tengo que ver que alguien tiene un beat en él. Creo que viene. Perfecto el movimiento. Contacto con el asesino. Todas las unidades cubran su trabajo. Taking a shot. Move, move, move. 
ningún contacto en la última posición conocida del enemigo. Comenzando búsqueda ahora. ¿Dónde se metieron estos puntos? Sideline. Ready to fire. Target down. On, I'll drive. Come in, let's roll. I got it. I'll fly.
This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. Drone is airborne. I got a Sicario over here. Close to the turret. Tango number three. Here's target number five. I'm seeing two narcos here. I don't see him. Looks like we've riled them up. Opening fire. I think that's all of them. There it is. Eyes on Polito's car.
car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand the narco thing. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty times you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning. Now it's up to Bowman and the activity. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. Buckle up, people. Go ahead, I'll meet you. Captured rebel being held in the village of Colta might have valuable intel on Liuri and El Polito. Rescue him from the cartel and find out what he knows. Looks like Colta is still smoldering. 
Keep an eye out for the rebel they've got held here. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Shit, he knows he's taking fire. Check it out, weapons case. I know we're here. Be careful. Drone. Going hot. Hey, hey, abre la puerta, compa. Open the door. You okay, hermano? What do you want from me? Yuri and Polito, the fuckers who tortured you. We're here to make them pay for what they did. But we need to know where they took you. We didn't travel far. I... I remember that much, and it was quiet. Out in the country, somewhere. There... There was a smell, like old animal skins. That's all I know. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. At least now we know they're close by. Gracias. Nomad, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it they use that spot for their enhanced Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on.
I'll drive. All right, let's roll. We've got a location on Liuri and El Polito. Let's pay these fuckers back for what they did to Sandoval. I don't care how you do it, so long as they both end up dead. Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. Heads up, hostiles in the area. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him and we're real the fucking late. You met me. Time to make it right. Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. I could not have even imagined a life so deep, a love so full as the love I have with you. Oh, God, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was afraid of Dimash, out of focus, until I could see myself through your eyes. Damn, just now when I was breaking that man's hands, I was imagining that he had tried to touch you. Come on, you're such a jealous man. And each finger I broke was punishment for a sin those hands had committed against you. Gordo, you're going to make me cry. I can't. I have a confession. You know you can tell me anything. Anything at all. Before, when you drenched that man with water, and I was electrocuting him with a cattle prod? But, Mirina, that was textbook perfection. Let me speak. After that man had defecated himself because all the pain we had put him through, the suffering, <laughs> a passion oh. like Christ, when... He was lying there, whimpering. I almost felt pity for him. I wanted to take care of him, to wrap my arms around him, to wipe away his tears. Yuri, look at me. What are you trying to tell me? Amor, I want to have a baby. Fire, fire, fire. Whoever the fuck you are, I'm gonna bleed you slow. Yuri and Polito have been terminated. You know how in the movies people always act like revenge? Satisfying? Like it doesn't make them feel any better? Sure. Well, I feel fucking great. 
Taking out that lovey-dovey horror show also earned us some points with the locals. Make contact when you find something new. Bowman out. Yuri is down. Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, jefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. Whoever's behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. The Santa Blanca Security Forces. Run by El Muro, childhood friend and personal bodyguard to El Sueño. El Muro means the wall, as in no one gets over it, no one gets under it, no one gets around it. SBC Security Forces recruit hard and train harder. Instructors from Israel, South Africa, Russia, and unfortunately, even the good old US of A. Polygraphs, first of every month. Pass, you pick up your paycheck. Fail? Yeah. Don't fail. Even so, El Muro has a polygraph system of his own. These Sicarios, aka gunmen, get intense training in marksmanship, surveillance, driving. Two-thirds wash out to become... Hakones. The guys who make it get assigned to various regions as enforcers, guards for labs and shipments, hitmen. Some become drivers, surveillance specialists, spies, and torturers. Just below El Muro is Santa Blanca's head Sicario, La Plaga, the Plague. You may ask, how does a show-off party boy rise to be the second in command of Santa Blanca security? Answer, Spurn. La Plaga is El Muro's little brother, but don't kid yourselves. He's the nastiest motherfucker on the internet, and yes, I have been on 4chan. Don't worry, you'll see what I'm talking about. Francisco Ricardo Munguia, El Muro, the wall, the wall between me and my enemies, the wall between me and death. We were born hours apart in the same village. As boys we were as poor as the rats that scrambled across our dirt floor, our huts in the shadows of the hilltop mansions, where the narco bosses lived like conquerors. El Muro took a different path. He joined the army. Special forces. He rose through the ranks, helped to protect the local narcos, was paid in cocaine and money along with promotions. When we met again, Francisco hermano, why are you still in the army? You and me together, we could rule. We will protect each other as we did when we were boys. We will share like brothers. a lot of lights and switches up here.
Bowman, this is Nomad. We're on the ground in Okoro. What have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre, and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's something of a charmer, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yeyo. Getting an upload from Bowman. Looks like she's got some intel on El Emisario. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, AKA El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows, how to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud. Which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old grandpa.